Hello everybody and welcome back to the sunny side demo because it's the uh, first episode did quite well so I thought we'd do a second. Very happy with that because I am enjoying this game a lot. So today uh, I'm thinking obviously I'll water all my crops. What's this? Oh my laptop. And the build station. Okay. Crafter's Companion 2.0. Crafting. I can make sticks, wires, solar sheets, plywood and circuit boards. Wonderful. Copper, iron, copper wire, sand. Oh, I'm going to have to get in the mines for that, aren't I? Plywood. Cherry cake mini computer. There's a few things I'm going to have to do at... Uh, hero's place I think. Cardboard box is empty. But I could store things in there if I needed to so I need to remember that just in case. Right let's grab the hose pipe and do our watering for the morning and then we can... Yes yeah, I need a way of getting water because I've planted all this stuff. I need to aim better now. Thirty-nine. So we did it on a lot less liters of water this time. Um, we had a pretty rough, yay, self-winding hose pipe. Uh, we had a pretty rough time of watering yesterday and ended up using a lot more water than I had hoped we would. I think we need to get into town and buy some uh, breakfast and stuff. Especially if I'm going to sprint everywhere, which you know I am. Hopefully we'll make it through to the farmer's market where I can maybe sell some stuff. <laughs> oh. I'm imagining eventually I'll um I'll have a car and I'll have lots of technology and I'll have a house and I'll have a bed and I'll be able to cook food. <laughs> But at the moment things are pretty terrible for me i am living in my tent and it actually feels kind of more realistic like that it's like yeah you're gonna have a hard start this is a bit like this is worse than a rosebud um playthrough on sims <laughs> it really is i like we're gonna give you the rosebud start for those of you that don't know uh what that is rosebud challenge in the sims is where you start off it was by a user called rosebud um, they made up a challenge where you start The Sims and you give away all your money at the start. I have played one of those challenges and it was alright. It was okay. I'm wondering if I should go and have a little look at the garden centre because, like, you know, we've done everything we need to on the farm. So we may as well explore. Who's this down here? Who are you? Haven't met you before. Parser! Hello! Hey! Hi! I'm Parser. Hi, Parser. What's your name? I'm Shelab. Great to meet you, Shelab. Thanks. You too. So, what brings you to Sunnyside? Oh, I bought the old farm at the entrance to town. Oh, that place Hero was talking about auctioning off. Yep. Hey, great for you. Welcome to town. Thank you. Anytime. Well, that was an informative conversation. I definitely gave more information about me than I got about Parser, but uh, the more people have my contacts, the more they might contact me about things. So are you the grocer? Can I talk to you? Sota. Hello. Hi. And who might you be? I'm Shelab. I bought the old farm on the edge of town. Oh, new neighbour then. That's right. And maybe a new customer. Uh... Ah, where are my manners? My name's Sota. My wife and I own Ladybug's Delight in town. I think Gabe mentioned I could get farming tools from you. you absolutely can. Come by the shop anytime. I'd love to have a new loyal customer. Well, actually, the farm mostly had all the tools I need. We sell more than just tools. Seeds, plants, garden decorations, and lots more. Do come by and see. I will, thanks. Have a nice day. You too. So it's probably going to be like a while um, once the game releases as well, because we've only got 10 days in this one, but it'll be a while before I start decorating, I imagine. Okay, Shady or Shaddy, how can I help you? I would like to shop. So can I get an irrigation pipe for $5? Uh, 
irrigation spike, a clay toad, a temple dog, a garden rock, a clay pot, birdhouse, a few other clay things, some lamps, um, basil, bok choy. My problem is though, I don't really want to buy more stuff until I know that I can uh, sort my water out. Now that is an issue. So I think for now we're just going to say goodbye. It's nice to know that that shop is there and where I can buy my seeds and everything. So it's good to know that. And it's especially good to show things like that in a demo. But I need to go and find the architect and also get myself some dinner. All right, let's, am I going the right way for dinner? I think so. I need to go back to this past um, heroes place and turn around. So I need to get back on the main road. Oh, I think I'm going the wrong way for the main road, aren't I? I think this way is the main road. Let's go back down there. I should go and visit the temple and stuff, but right now I've, I've got a, I've got a thing to do. I need to go and a get some food because that food is going down super fast. And luckily it gave me enough to buy a bit of food for now. And they did say, like, you will probably need to buy food for the time being. Is this the bar? And is it open now? Might not be open till later. I'm hoping so, because it's like my main place where I get food. <laughs> Never fret pub. Never fret, because, oh. Yeah. So I might need to head to the grocery store then instead and see if I can get some dinner there. Or anywhere else it might look. So clinic, Yukio's home, the pub. The shrine, the gardens, grocers. Salon. I'm also, there was a dot on, I, I don't even know where it is anymore, like, there was a dot on my map to go towards, oh, Hoshi Woodworks, is that where I'm meant to be going? Carpenter, maybe. But yeah, I do need to go somewhere where I can get some food, so I'm going to try the grocery store, I think. Yes, I'm going to run there. It's right by the bridge, isn't it? So I need to go all the way back up to the bridge again. And then we've got grocery store. I love like the fact they've got like modern day sort of signs telling telling me where the old caves are and things like that. I think this looks like it might be a grocery shop. Yeah. Got a trolley there and everything. Who are you? Xander. Hi. Hi, Xander. Hello. I don't think I recognise you. Are you just visiting? Oh, no. I just moved here. Hey, that's cool. I'm Xander. I'm a bit new here myself. Oh, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sheila. Great. Good to meet you, too. So, I work down at the mill by the lake. Feel free to stop by any time. Oh, thank you. Don't mention it. See you around, yeah? Sure. I swear, this, this girl's met more people in her first day here than, like, I've met in my town in, like, a million years. Like... What, we've been here like four years? Don't know anyone. Okay, so, grocery shop. Sako, welcome to the oak tree. Shop. I could get some yogurt. Oh, here we are, here we are. Ground, shabu beef. Oh, grilling, okay. I might need to get some bread for snacking. A lunch bento. Oh, okay, we could do that. Or I could do some onigiri I worry that I won't be able to eat them I'll buy them I don't I'll buy some persimmon plain or onigiri and maybe a lunch bento I don't want to use too much money up but I do need definitely something to eat right now because look at me I'm about to starve uh, bento box. I 
I'll start with the, we're quite hungry, so I'll start with the lunch bento, which was expensive, but completely fills me up. Okay. And there's also vending machines here. So if I'm like really, really starving hungry, let's get a vanilla ice cream. If I'm really, really hungry, then I can always uh, go to the vending machine outside and at any time of day by the looks of it, which is quite useful. Right then, I want to go back to my journal. I want to have a little look at... Uh... So... Philip at Hoshi Woodworks. Yep, yeah, that is exactly where we need to go. Perfect. Down this road a little bit. Let's see, what's the best way to get to the woodworks then? So, probably... Down the road for another block. And then, just as we go past the clinic, we'll turn to the left. Okay. Which could take a while. Can't wait to have a car. Or, or a bicycle. A bicycle would even do. Honestly. I doubt I'll be able to afford much now, though. So for now we will keep running. But it's going to save me a fortune in uh, in food costs as well. Those bento lunches were brilliant though. Looks like there's some vending machines outside the um, the clinic as well. Is this the clinic? We might outside the clinic. Cutting edge salon. Oh right, I think I've gone too far. Uh, let me just keep checking. I think it might be up here. I'll get used to it and then I won't have to use the map nearly as much, but at the moment I don't know where anything is. Um, I've gone the wrong way. Feels like I may have. Yes, we've gone completely the wrong way. So it's it's the other way. It's down. It's down the way. Okay. So it's down this side. But it's nice. Sometimes it is nice just to have a really different looking game, because when you see the same thing day in day out all the time. A different looking game is a real game changer, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Philip, what can I help you with? Well, I'm looking to add some buildings to my property. Hi uh, Hero gave me a cool drone to help me plan, but you need building blueprints if you're going to plan anything, is that about right? Right. And he mentioned that I used to be an architect. That's right. Good old hero, always looking out for everyone. Sure, I can help you. Name's Philip. Philip Obeng was added to your contacts list. Perfect. That's great, thank you. Of course, I don't just have a bunch of farm building blueprints lying around, so I'll need some time to plan something for you. Oh, that makes sense, of course. Although, when we first moved to town, I was inspired by that old tea house on your property. Tea house? Yes, well, it's a bit ruined now, isn't it? But it used to be quite lovely. I think I messed around with making a blueprint of it years ago. Let me see if I have it around here. Ah, here we go. I made a few small design adjustments, but it was good practice for me in my younger years. I must admit, seeing it built would be very nice. Everyone in town is being so kind to me. Thank you so much, Philip. It's my pleasure. We like to help folks around here, even if there are fewer to help each year. Anyway, I'll start drawing up some ideas for you. The first few are on the house, but I'm afraid I'll have to start charging you at some point. That's nice because we really it's giving us such a slow start in making money. The fact that it's giving us so much um, free stuff at the start, it does help balance that out a bit. Of course, I'd be happy to support your business. Oh, designing buildings isn't my business. I'm a carpenter now. Oh, so when you need processed lumber for those bills, you come to me, all right? Bring me the raw material and I'll give you a discount. Better go chopping down any cherry trees around the town, though, all right? Got it. I don't even have an axe, anyway. Uh, yeah, sorry. I don't process metal. You need to go and see Master, uh, Master 
Ishikawa for that. Gosh, that was a tongue twister. That's the blacksmith. Cat mentioned him. Where does he live? Take the road from my place towards the main road and hang a right. His place is just past the clinic on the right. It's across the road from Heroes. You know what? Pull up your map on your phone. I'll point it out. Oh, I can pin it. Uh, sure. Thanks again, Philip. See you later. So let's go get an axe. Day three, we get our axe. Like... <laughs> That is definitely some slow progress, but in other regards, we're making very fast progress, so it's a bit of a weird one. Right, so we need to go down this road, and then, uh, like you said, hang a right. Go down this road. And then hang a right. I think a little, like, scooter or motorbike could be really good in this one. The roads just seem right for it. Am I going the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way still. That's fine. Just got to get to this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, uh, we'll get to the junction and we turn right. Lovely. And then it looks like it's just up here next to the clinic. So we've got these steps, maybe. Ah. Oh, you can climb on top of the signposts. Fantastic. We've got some exploration points there. Oh, I think it's next door. It's this one here, isn't it? It's here. Now, how do I... How do I get in here? Is it? Is it this one? I think it is. It looks like it. Oh, yep. Yep, this definitely looks like a blacksmith place. And we're unlocking all this music as well, which is amazing. Um, like I say, I don't really change it too much just because I worry that if I change to something bespoke, it might end up being a copyrighted thing, but you guys can go to town on it. Ah, good. How can I help you? Well, Philip said you were the person to see for forged metal. Ah, he would be correct. Good man, Philip. So, how does this, this work, even? It's quite simple, really. Bring me raw metal ore, and I'll smelt it into whatever shape you want. Sometimes I even have ready-made pieces available, though... They're often a mite more expensive. That sounds easy enough. I just wish you have an axe for sale. I do not know. Ah, oh. I do, however, have a machete. The order was cancelled after I'd already made the billet, you see. Oh, that would be great. How much? For a young farmer looking to live an honest life? No charge. My gift to you. Really? Yes, helping you start your journey would be an honour. Aww. It's not the strongest cutting tool, as it can't handle any harder woods, but it should provide you with a good start. If you'd like anything more durable, I'll need the time and materials to make it. Materials like raw metal ore? Correct. But where do I even find raw ore? Ah, now you're asking the right questions. There's a network of abandoned caves near the old Hana Gardens, absolutely rich with ore. Occasionally I'll venture in there myself for a bit of mining. I even have a spare pickaxe you can have, so get you started. You know, a few industrious companies from the city have tried to turn those old caves into mines over the years, but to no avail. Metal, you know, is one of the oldest and most important materials in the history of the Earth. Humans have been working with it for centuries. Oh, sorry. My father was a craftsman and his father before him. Oh, that's really interesting. Ah, you think so? Yeah. I think it'd be nice to hear the history of my new home. Oh, it's the new Cooper. We found the new Cooper. Everybody. <laughs> ah, yes. The old Agata lands. Agata? Correct. F I've heard that a few times now. Their family originally owned that land of yours, but the last of them passed years ago. As a result, the property defaulted to town ownership. There have been quite a few owners since then. Oh, I see. But now it's just you. And now it's me. You seem unsure. Are you not a farmer? Uh, I guess. Well, it seems we'll soon find out. By the way, have you let met my lovely wife yet? I'm not sure. Well, if you find any gemstones down in those caves, give them to my Chio. Oh, yeah, no, we have met Chio. She's the best jeweller in the whole prefecture. If she likes you, she might even take custom orders. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome, young farmer. I hope you'll come back to chat with me sometime. Right, we're going mining then. I'm glad he gave me a pickaxe. We're going mining in the mines which are over. Which are over. By the gardens. Oh yeah, right, okay. 
There was a sign that said to the caves as well, so maybe we'll just follow the signs. I'm, let's see if we can find that to the caves sign. Definitely want to play this game more fully when it does come out. They did, they've done a good job. This one, I think, was um, kicking about on Kickstarter around the same time as Coral Island, but they seem to have taken more time with this one. Whether that's because their dev team isn't quite as big, or whether it means that it'll be a more finished product when it comes out, because um, I don't think Coral Island will be properly finished till the end of the year. Hmm. It's getting quite dark now, isn't it? Hi, Lucy. Hi. Hello. So, Gabe is my dad. Oh, okay. And you're our new neighbour. Yep. I hope you like animals. Why is that? We have a lot of them. Okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, Lucy's cute. That's Gabe's little girl because he mentioned he had a kid. Aww. Okay, so... Where's these caves then? Even if I can just find them, that would be within the day. That would be fine, in my opinion. So... Takasha, oh, I think we might have gone too far. Honor Gardens. Oh, there's the old caves. Okay, it was pinned as well. <laughs> We've gone the wrong way slightly. I need to just go uh, up this path just here. Getting this one. Through the garden. Oh, no. Uh, and then across here. Okay. No wonder I missed it. That was a tiny path. Right, so we've got some old caves here. Lovely. Let's have a look at that then. Oh, it's gotten so late. And I do need to um, change, and it's alt to change, no. Alt and scroll. Change to tools. I need my pickaxe out. It's tiny! It's the world's tiniest pickaxe! Oh my goodness me. Right, let's see what we can find in here. It's very, very dark. I apologise for how dark this is. There is lots of electric lighting in here, thank goodness. So you don't need a torch and things too badly. Right, so what have we got then? Oh, maybe we do. <laughs> maybe I could do with something to light my way a bit more. I'm not seeing any kind of big rocks or anything. We we'll just keep going a little longer. There's a big floodlight there. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, that looks like it might be showing me what the ore looks like. There's some kind of drone in here. Uh, uh, I think there's a cave in. Right, so I need to be able to try, if I want to get that drone, which might be some kind of mining drone or something that I can use, then maybe, oh, and then there was a big red light. Okay, if I, if I passed out or something? What? Who are you? You're a robot that looks like a cat. Well, you've got cat ears anyway, I suppose. What are you? Spa! 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 Spark! 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 Is that your name? Did you rescue me? Yes. Wow, thanks. Can't believe that happened. But where did you come from? I don't know. I see. Well, we should get out of here. No! Oh. My language systems have updated. Good. You may leave, but I must continue my mission. Whoa, whoa. Wait, stop. Why? In this whole place, probably, 
sorry, this whole place is probably super unstable after that cave-in. We mess with the walls, it might even make things worse. Oh, you'll make a sound argument. We should get out of here. You can do whatever your mission is later. A couple of days will probably- DAYS! There is no way to know how long I've been inactive. I refuse to wait another second. No, stop! You've just decreed this place isn't safe. Oh, you'll make a sound argument. I know. Now let's get out of here. Ouch. Are you injured? I think so. Are you? <laughs> so many surprises in this game. So many things I don't expect. Hmm. Several of my systems are not working properly. I believe we both need medical aid. Okay, luckily I know a doctor. The clinic's probably closed if I was out for a while, and I don't get any service in here. I'll give her a call when we're outside. Service? Yeah, on my phone. Oh, that device in your pocket. Yes, we've met. <laughs> I love it. Hey, what are you doing? Interfacing, of course. Your friend is very interesting. Primitive by my standards, but impressive for humans. I wonder how long I was caught in the rubble. Yeah, 20, 20. Hmm, that doesn't mean anything to me. Look, I don't want to be in here anymore. There could be another collapse or an aftershock. Can we go? Oh, right, yes. Do you require support? Uh, that would help, yes. Oh no, all the lights have gone out. Not a problem. I got a bit of copper, iron and stone from that, so that was alright. Mayumi, you're lucky your injuries weren't worse. What were you doing in there anyway? And what is this thing? This is Sparky. I, uh, I am Sparky. Is this some kind of companion trope? Yes. Right. Oh no. See, this is this is the space bar as well. I'm using the space bar. I'm still skipping stuff all the time. Oh, I need to like change my keyboard. I swear. Take it easy for your days, all right? And maybe stay out of the caves. That's the plan. Let's try left click for this one then. No, wait. We agreed it's too dangerous. What is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, right. Yes. It's late and I need sleep. We'll go back later, okay? Your argument is sound. Oh, dear. And now we're on the fourth day, we're like halfway through the demo now. I'm really sad. I want this game out now. <laughs> this is cool. I just got Sparky. Good morning. Did you just watch me sleep? Of course not. I went into low power anyway. To the caves. Sparky, no. Why do you want to get down there so bad? What's down there? And while we're at it, what are you? I'm Sparkactic Survey Drone, number four. My prime directive is to collect human intelligence to determine their nature. Their nature? The nature of humans is to be studied. Data is needed. My prime directive is to collect human intelligence to determine their nature. Sparky? Ugh. Sparky, are you okay? What happened? You went all robotic. What an odd feeling. It seems... What did you do to me? Me? I didn't do anything. I remember nothing. What do you mean? How did you find me? I The earthquake. What did you do? Did you touch me? I mean, I remember touching a blinking light. <gasps> you did! I did what? You rebooted my program. I've never been so violated. <laughs> Oh no, I'm so sorry, Sparky. What? To touch a Zant's reboot button. Unfathomable. I didn't mean it. I should hope not. I'm sorry? You should be. <laughs> now then. It seems you initiated my reboot sequence when you asked what I am. And I suspect sitting in that rubble did some damage that I am unable to repair on my own. How long was I in there anyway? Your time system confuses me. In the caves? I'm not sure. The tree we passed, yeah? Is that the Kashiwa tree? Uh, by the caves? I think it's called the Kashiwa shrine, so yes. It's enormous! Yeah? It's probably been there like a thousand years. A thousand! I, uh... A thousand. Sparky? Sparky? Hero! 
Whoa, yeah? I, I might, can, can you help? Um, sure? Whoa, what is that? It's, uh, it's, are you alright? Yeah, it just, it's kind of died. Died? We were talking and then the eyes went dark. Talking? Is it some kind of robot? It said it was a Zant? Whatever that is. Hmm, haven't heard of that brand. You say it ran out of power? It didn't come with a charger. I, uh, no. Hmm, probably one of those knockoff brands. Okay, I might be able to think of something. I'll have to see what kind of charge port it has. Thank you, hero. Yeah, no problem. Might take me a few days. That's fine. No, it's not fine. I only have 10 days on the tutorial. On the demo, even. Thanks again. Sure, sure. Uh, oh, hero? Yeah? There's a red button near the base. Don't touch it. Oh? It will uh, reboot all the programming and make it useless. Right. Okay, bye. And also make it feel violated. All right, let's see what you're made of. Okay. Order and receive an axe from Master Ishikawa. Oh, so maybe the amount of stuff I've got is enough for the axe. And then I'd actually maybe have something to sell. Let's head back up there. And get in his stupid half open doors. Um Right, what are you seeking at my shop today? Let's have a look. There's a few things that we can get here. Wonderful. Aluminium, glass, steel roasting pan, steel pot, skillet knife so if i can get myself like a grill or something then some of these uh, some of this cookware would be useful but no axe probably on purpose um sell okay so i can start to sell my iron and things like that healing tea can i can i sell some stone maybe actually i probably shouldn't try so I just wanted to, I just wanted to chat really. If you're taking a trip to the old caves, do be careful. I've had a few family members get hurt or trapped in there over the years. Um, order. So maybe that's the thing I do on my phone rather than going to see you. Let's see. I can't IM you. Okay, so that's just an invite to hang out. Well, how am I going to do that then? How do I order things? We went to the shop. And there was nothing in there. Oh, here we are. Services. Duh. Twenty-five for an axe. Machete, a digging forks, a nata, clay tiles, copper wire, copper sheet, steel mesh, steel beam, la 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 la. Okay. Confirm purchase, and I guess that that will. So I've ordered it and I've paid. say much about like I'm missing iron for it but um, it doesn't say much about when it's going to be ready or anything like that when I need to come back so I'm guessing I just listen out for my phone and it'll be ready when it's ready but it would be nice to know like how long that's going to take I don't know, I might be just missing something. Collection points. Oh, I see. So I could collect my axe from there eventually once it's done, I'm guessing. I'll probably get a text about it. 
Or if not, I'll just come back to Alien Check. So in the meantime, I can do a little... I'm going to go and look at my house now. So let's see. Kindness of strangers. At the moment, we need to go to the farmer's market. That won't happen until Sunday, so that's fine. Uh, we're on Thursday at the moment. I have some iron now. I should go back to Master Ishikawa, which we did, and we've ordered it. Wait for Hero to fix Sparky. Alright then, well maybe there's nothing quest-wise to do my house, but it's something that I'd like to try and do. And I'd like to go over to the mechanics eventually and just go and see like how much cars cost, if there's a, a cheap thing I could buy, a cheap scooter or bike or something. I've got a little bit of uh, food. I've got more idea about where to go to get things to feed myself, which is much better. Uh, we're now down to $97 or... Oh, I forget what it's called. Cure Royals or something, isn't it? But we're down to 97 of them, which is probably not ideal. But I definitely think transport is going to start to be quite important because it's taking ages to run. I try and do everything I can in town and then run back and do bits at my farm. Split the day into two almost. Water my crops to start with. But I've still not got a, an answer to the water problem that I've got. So I'm hoping that that will come along soon. Because I'm going to run out and I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do about that. Oh, it looks like they all need watering. Do they all need watering again? No way. I'm sure I watered them this morning. It's actually better to do it like that. <laughs> Trying to aim it actually ends up using way more water. Trying to uh, reduce the amount of water needed. Okay, so it looks like we actually do have a blueprint here. And so I'm going to need a few things to get it sorted. Hardwood beams, hardwood planks, softwood planks. So I probably need to take some softwood. Let We could start with softwood planks and take them up. Uh, when the axe is ready, I can do the hardwood. Shoji panels, no idea where to get those. Um, I know I can get iron bolts and screws. If I can get a little bit more iron, I get iron bolts and screws over at... Uh, I can actually just directly buy them, I think, over at the blacksmiths. Maybe it will be cheaper if I bring the stuff myself. So I would definitely say let's like start using my... Let's start chopping some trees down. If I can actually find where my axe is. Oh no, uh, it will be the machete, won't it? Sorry, with the machete. So let's see what we can do. Uh, do I need to put it onto my... I might need to put it onto my... Tool thinger. There we are. Pickaxe the same then. So we'll just have them all on there. Um, and then I can press middle mouse button and we can choose the machete and there we go. Boom. We are now chopping down trees. A whole bunch of sticks. And I got 13 softwoods. And let's see if we can go for the stump as well. Okay, let me just eat some food. Into my bento box. And I'll have my onigiri. Which gave me a little bit of stamina and it's filled my food bar up. But I'm only going to be able to do so much. It would be nice to get two trees down if I can. And the reason that's going to be kind of important, I think, is I need 20 softwood planks. I would love to have my house rebuilt by the end 
of the demo if that's at all possible looking at the things that are required for it it looks like it might be possible not chop this up why do i not have enough stamina to do anything Cool, six softwood there, so 13 plus six is 19, irritatingly. Okay, oh, I've got loads more out of the stump. Oh, maybe it was hiding inside the stump. Maybe, it, yeah, probably was actually. So I've got a whole bunch of softwood there, so we can at least get the softwood onto it. It's quite a big... Quite a big list of stuff, isn't it? So we've got enough of the softwood planks. Shoji panel, no idea. Clay tiles I can buy. Maybe buy glass somewhere. I can have a look around in town. Might have to do that tomorrow. I definitely feel like now I know how this plays a bit better, I would probably, if I did another run, I'd probably have like... I'd be, go I'd be like straight to the mines. I'd be like... Finding Sparky on like the first day, probably. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd be straight around all the different shops and things in town. But, you know, this is a realistic idea, this playthrough of, of how how the game is when you're just learning it from the start. Um, it's half past three. I could easily run into town again. It'll certainly as well probably give me a bit of a better if I if I remember by the time the game comes out if it comes out in like it's due to come out this year it is 2024 it's probably gonna be I reckon if they're smart anyway they'll do it in quarter three they'll do it in the Christmas run up you know or if they're if they're ready basically look there's a the, you don't have to run along the road there's a path here how cute is that. What a cute path. Oh, my stamina has kind of regenerated quite nicely over time as well, look. I don't know if I can do this, but I kind of want to see. I've been to like quite a few places now. Oh, look, Ishikawa Jewelry is behind the... Bl right, okay. That's well cool. We could go to the... I haven't even checked out the town hall yet. I mean, doesn't that make sense? Maybe that's where we were when we did... It's probably the town hall is where we were when we did our um, auctioning. I imagine most things are going to close at five, though. Yeah, that's where we were for the auction. Cool. And the car place is, of course, all the way over here. Oh, that's where the farmer's market's going to be, just behind the woodworks. That's cool. And if you click on something, you can see it's opening hours, which is nice as well. So quickly... I'm sure I saw a place that was to do with vehicles. Fret, Sunnyside Clinic... Ishikawa Estate, Naka... Uh, it's a restaurant. There's a restaurant. Nice. That's just a home. And that's where Hero lives. Sanders home. Shrine. The guy. I do want to visit the shrine. Hundred percent. I know. I saw somewhere that said it was vehicles. Here we are, right out here by Bait and Tackle. Fishing and vehicles, the, the, the mechanic. Automotive and machinery repair. Open till five every day. So I wanna go out there, I wanna see what that's all about. And Bait and Tackle will be probably helping me to fish, which might be quite useful as well. Um, but those places look like they're gonna be shut very soon.
And it's raining. And nowhere's open. So unless I just hang around talking to people, which I could do. Hi there, my name is Mayumi Okada. Pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Shilab. I just want to say I'm happy you decided to move to Sunnyside. Thank you. It's a nice little town. You'll love it here. Hope so, yeah. And if any of the residents give you a hard time, please let me know. Hmm. Not that it's going to happen, of course, but just in case. Also, I'm the only doctor in town, so if you ever need anything, the clinic is on Main Street. Can't miss it. This one never talks to me. She's terrible. Horrible person. Remember, it's important to maintain your health. Don't just wait until there's a problem. Feel free to see me anytime for regular checkups. I will. Thank you. Oh. I also like to do yoga in the park across the street in the morning. You're welcome to join that as well. That's very kind. Thank you, Dr. Okada. Please call me Mayumi. All right. See you around. And good luck on your farm. All right then. So you're now in my contact list. Wonderful. Collection point here. So there's like loads of places you can order things. Now then, we're right by... We're right by the blacksmiths right now. Or is it the other... It's the other side, isn't it? It's this side. Um, so what I'm thinking I will do... Those are annoying. <laughs> get, get them away. What I'm thinking I will do is... Um, pop in and see if the, the axe is at the collection point yet. Or whether I need to wait till the morning for that. I'm not going to be allowed hardwood for a day or two, am I? No. No, I expect that's going to be a morning thing. So, as much as, like, you really want to do everything you can with every day you have, uh, I'm waiting for a few things right now, so we might just be better off sleeping. Which is a little sad, but never mind. So, what we're on? We're on day four. Day four. So, I, I, like I say, if you play it through several times, you'll probably get it down to a fine art of being able to get things all done on day one that uh, you might be able to get almost as far as I am on day one because if you just go straight up to the blacksmith and straight up to uh, maybe just do all of those things before you're told to then you might end up being able to do things a little bit faster but with me like I say I'm just going very organically and learning so I won't get as far as someone who's uh, maybe completely efficiency it out. Hi little fox. Aren't you so cute? So this is like my lower field I think. I think this belongs to me as well. And I think this will be a really good place for doing a lot of... Well I mean it could be quite a nice cow pasture. It could have quite a lot of... Quite a lot of uh, agriculture going there. But we've got a lot of space. Although I don't know whether as things sort of, as things go, there won't be so much space. I wonder if I can just like put buckets of water out of the stream into that. I don't know. Oh, that adds it into, oh, right, 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 right. That adds it, the water pump adds it back into your tank. Oh, I can't believe it took me that long to work that out. But, yeah, like I say, things are, are very different here. And we're working out a lot of things from scratch, so... That's probably like a 100 litre water tank. Oh, I don't need to worry at all about that then. That's cool. I was a bit worried about my water levels, but just for a little garden, we are absolutely fine. I wish I could, I wish I could live in my house, but no, we have to live in the tent. So I'm going to go to bed in the tent for the night. Sad times. And then hopefully I'll have, I'll be able to do more in the morning. Maybe I could sell some of the wood I chop and that sort of thing. Um, and maybe make a bit of money that way enough to make my house. So we'll actually start properly like chopping things down. And like I say, probably like those of you who've played the demo before, you get most of this done on the first day. Because you know how things work. Right, so it's 6am. I want to quickly water my plants. We've got $97 left still. Gabriel's asking if I'm free today, which I probably am. Sure, what's up? Meet me in Higashi right now. 
Yep, where are we going? Tell you when we get there. Okay, so. <laughs> I know where the bus stop is now. Yay! Fantastic. So we've got our day back, which is useful because we're already halfway through the tutorial. The, sorry, the demo. Not tutorial. Why do you keep saying tutorial? We're already halfway through the demo, so uh, yeah, we have to go all the way up here. Good job she lab can run fast, huh? I haven't got much food left, I've just realised. I've got half of a half of a food bar and a, a couple of things in my inventory that I can eat, so we should be alright. I'll grab another bento lunch at some point, I think. But I feel um I think that the whole point of the game actually like is to help Sparky get the memories back. So that's going to be quite cool. Right, so we found the bus stop here. This is the bus station and if you go here you can travel to Higashi. That's quite the run. <laughs> this is definitely designed for vehicles and obviously early game you're probably not going to have any. So you can go into town. Which is a thing I didn't know. Hey Gabriel! Hey there! Hey Gabe! What's going on? Your text was kind of cryptic. Yeah, it's better that way. You just said something about outlets in Higashi before. Is that why we're here? Huh? No, I wanted to introduce you to someone. Oh, alright. Down a back alley, really? <laughs> uh, Dra, I mean... Uh, hello, Gabriel. Dra? How are you this fine day? Uh, hey man, good to see you. And cut the crap. This uh, this is my sh friend, Sheila. Uh, well, any friend of the dragon is a friend of mine. Don't call me that idiot. Right, sorry. Dragon, don't push it. Right. So what's up? What can I do for you? Just wanted to introduce you to you. Sheila is new to the area, understand? Got it, will do. Sheila, if there's anything you need that you can't find, just come and ask my friend here. And maybe don't ask too many questions. <laughs> like, uh, right, like what kind of things? I don't know. Stuff that's not easy to find in Sunnyside. I don't know. Yeah. Hey man, you got any bikes? I only got the one right now. Had it a while. Why, what's wrong with it? What's that? Some kind of kid's name carved into it. Matt, I think. Why don't you just grind it off? It's too deep. Gonna damage the frame if I do that. Oh. You want it? I'll give it to you half price. You'll give it to me for free, since you can't sell it anyway. Man, you always get me with that crap. Fine, fine. There you go, she'll have a shiny, uh, newish bike to get you around Sunnyside. You sure? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, thanks, man. See you around. See you next time, I mean, Gabriel. That's just Gabe, man. Just Gabe. Right, right. Sorry. Bye. Shady seller. Nice. Gabe? Yeah? Who was that guy? <laughs> An old friend. And why did you want me to meet him? Look, I know how hard life can be on your own, and I promised I'd help you. I know he doesn't look like much, but you've got to have all the support you can get, yeah? Yeah, I guess. Anyway, you're going to want somewhere to lock up that bike, I bet. I'm sure you can just stick some bent rebar into the ground for now. Right. You good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Great. Guess we should probably check out that outlet, huh? That'd be great. Let's go. Shopping with Gabe. Thanks for doing this. Oh, we've got the camping stove. Yes. Camping stone camping stove and a bike is a huge upgrade right now. You don't have to buy it for me though. Ah, it's okay. But it's not like you have the money, right? Yeah. Why have you been so kind to me? Uh, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I feel sorry for you. Oh. No, that's not it. I relate. That's all. I know how hard it is to set up, set yourself up for success, sorry. The people of Sunnyside help me, so I guess I'm just passing it on. Speaking of which, I'll talk to Hina about getting you some cooking lessons. That'd be great. And thanks for the trip to the city. Yeah, no problem. I hope you didn't have any trouble with the bus. 
I know it can be a pain, but it's kind of the only way to get to Higashi. Lucy takes it every day. I think they're ta uh, Takahashi girls do too. I found it okay. Ah, good. So you shouldn't have any problem getting back here. If, I don't know, you want to buy better appliances or clothes or whatever. Oh, there's also a pet rescue you might want to check out. Dogs are great for keeping foxes away and I sell supplies for them in the shop. I think um, I would like the dog to have a house to live in first. You know, if you're interested. I hadn't really thought about it. But that's good to know. Thank you. Anyway, I've got more stuff to do in town, so you go on without me. I'll uh, see you around. Thanks again, Gabe. Yep. Special blueprints was added. Bicycle stand. Nice. So do I want to like see if I can find that shady guy again? Where's he? Where's he? Where's he? Not goods. Oh, got nudes. Sorry, got nudes. That's a noodle bar, I'm guessing. Higashi Pet Rescue. Uh, Sayatech Outlet. We've got the cinema over here as well. Debonair. Transform your wardrobe with show-stopping style. Real good films and vinyl fantasy records. Where's the dodgy dude though? Higashi University. There probably. That looks like it. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can find him again. Um Down a really dirty alleyway. So not that one. Sciatech. In and out the garage. Oh, wait, can we go in? Oh no. Okay. Where did I think I saw the alleyway it was? Oh yeah, it's on the other side. Next to Debonair. Okay. I want to see if I can find him. If I can ever find the bus stop again as well. So next to Debonair, down the alleyway. I'm definitely going to be trying my bike on the way back. Ah, oh, yeah. That's where he lives. Okay, so Shady Cellar. So I can have a feisty plushie. Uh, uh, just sells loads of plushies. Curses for fire damage and stuff. Wow. Battery boost kit, Mark II. A microchip, pain medication, wine and pistachio oil. None of which I really need, but like, good to know that he's here, good to know that he has stuff. I'll get a Doriaki. I've got some ice cream as well. Probably need a little bit of food. I'm glad the food isn't too expensive. Right, so, uh, back to the bus stop if I can find it. I think it was on this side. Um, that is a bike rack. That is not the bus stop. Can I see where the bus stop is? No, I can't. Pretty sure it was on this side, though. Just run around and familiarise myself with it a little bit. Another. There's lots of bike racks around here, but no bus stops. Okay, we can't go beyond there. That's fine. Well, why can't I find that then? Should we see if I can get my bicycle working here? Camping stove. Cardboard. Rebar. I may have to build the bike shack to add the bike to it.
I don't seem to have a bike. So I think what I need to do is build the bike shack and then the bike will be there. I think. This is very much a uh, an episode of running around finding bus stops, isn't it? Oh yeah. That looks like it could be a bus stop there. Yeah, alright, so it's at this end. Cool. The Higashi University bus stop. So, sadly, I think I might need to uh, walk back home. Which isn't the greatest, but never mind. Oh, right. Am I going the wrong way? Yes. <laughs> I was going the wrong way. So this way. This way. Back to my house. I haven't heard anything from Hero about Sparky, and I haven't heard anything about my axe either. But I might head into town and just like check on that daily. And in the meantime, see if I can sell, chop and sell enough softwood to make the money to buy the other things. That's something I could definitely try and do. And a bike to get around on would be so much better. That would be amazing. Where's my house? Am I nearly there? Yeah. It's actually quite big, isn't it? Oh no, this isn't my farm. But that is a farm. Where am I? Oh, don't tell me I've gone the wrong way again. This is my house, isn't it? Oh no, I have. I should have gone down there, past it. Oh gee, okay. This is where I really wish the bike was working already, but I think I have to build the bike stand first. I'm not impressed with this. <laughs> I'm impressed with going the wrong way. At least I realised before I'd gone too far. I was like, where's my farm then? There's some really nice big plots of land as well. And so I imagine you're going to be able to get a few different places. And you could have your own ranch and your own farm and all that sort of thing. Although you'd be competing with Gabriel a little bit. But that's fine. He'll survive. I love these little uh, lampposts on the side of the road. I imagine that at night they come on and look very pretty. I could probably fish in some of the water, I imagine. We need to go to bait and tackle. There's a few places that I want to try and hit before the 10 day limit's up at least. You know, even if I, like I say, I'm not the most efficient in the world because it's a first playthrough and like with me it always will be because I want to show you the proper pacing of what someone just jumping into it would would experience rather than necessarily. Although, yeah, the search for that bus stop annoyed me. So I, I like I say, I did reload that. <laughs> right, so we're home now. So let's see if I can uh, go to my little construction bit. Uh, in the shed and let's see if I can make myself a bike stand probably having it somewhere near the shed would be useful how are these guys doing just just growing just doing their thing okay cool I'm glad I worked out what the pump water is doing as well so crafters companion um, you've got cash and you've got crafting. Ooh, that is not uh, something I can do there. Okay, so that's just for building basic things. So I think it's going to be the drone app then to make the bicycle stand. So let's go into build mode, which is two. I can build myself a camping stove. A cardboard box. I feel like I should put that in my shed, really. Uh, rotate, place.
Let me place it, please. And oh, does it need to go up onto something? Up on top of a table or something like that. Okay, well, it's now on the grounds. Let's hope that's not the wrong way to do it. Cool, so I've got my electric hob. I don't know if I'll be able to move that later. Maybe I will be able to. Regardless. Place cookware here. Okay. Well, we'll be getting some cooking lessons soon, so I imagine that'll be fine. I put down a couple of... I need to get better at that basically, but it's fine for now. Okay, so I can probably cook some stuff on that hob later if I have any ingredients whatsoever, which I do not right now. Um, let me just scroll through to some food because I'm starving hungry. Need some ice cream. Right, so the next thing I need to build with the drone is going to be my bicycle stand. So we'll try and see if we can do that. So, build mode. Nope. Of course it wouldn't be that easy. That's all, that's all I've got so far. On the drone. Okay, so it doesn't look like I have a bicycle rack uh, thing. So let me check my journal and see if anything is in here. I have some iron. Build the bicycle stand. I'm sure I can find a good place for this rebar. Where? As I supposedly have been given a bicycle and all sorts. Ah, there's something flashing up there. Maybe I am meant to build it up here. Is that just a signpost? That's a signpost. No, yeah. I really... <laughs> the thing is, it's like giving me something I really want and then made it difficult to do. And this is, seems to be something that's happening a lot in this, to be honest with you. It's just like, why can't I put the... Why don't I have the... I, it gave me the rebar. So why don't I have the ability to build it? Um. Okay, so let's go back down to my... I will double check. I thought that maybe there would be a specific place to place it. Um, unless unless maybe down by my house. Just in case it was there, but no, no. Not there. Let's double check, make sure there's nothing on the build station. Absolutely sure. Stick wire, solar, sh no, still all the same stuff. Nothing using rebar, nothing in the cache. Whatever that is supposed to be. I feel like I might need to talk to somebody about this bicycle or something. I don't know, but I feel like I'm wasting so much time on it. When there were things I actually wanted to check out, which are now I'm now too late for. But it was a cool trip into the city, at least. Oh! I found it! Found it! It's behind a whole bunch of bamboos. I was bamboozled. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. There's my bicycle. Okay, that's another thing. Once you know where it is and what to do with it, then you will be able to do that, like, 
I wasted about four hours of my time doing that, finding that. So walking around Sunnyside can be tedious. There are various forms of transportation you can use. Each vehicle will require storage on your main farm before you can use it and can be called to any location on the map as long as you're near a road. Hang on, I'm not reading this properly. I'm reading it out and it's not going in my brain. Storage on main farm before you can use it and can be called to any location on the map as long as you're near a road. Right, so I can call it from my phone. Okay. Each vehicle also has a storage compartment, so you can carry extra items if needed. Nice. And additionally, some vehicles will require charging between uses, so be sure to keep an eye on the energy. Okay, that's fine. Don't need that with the bicycle, so I can ride my... Let's ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. Okay, this is nice. This is a reasonable bicycle. It's nowhere near as bad. It's not very stable, but it's nowhere near as bad as the... Uh... I don't know if I can change my camera. Oh, I can put my light on with my middle click. I've got a, I got a bike light. It's WASD movement, and then you can look around with the camera. I tend to prefer slightly camera steer. Ooh. All these people walking along the road. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit mean, aren't I? Alright, I'm going to head for the bar. Doesn't have any bicycle racks, though. So I guess I'm just going to leave it here. Stands up on its own, though, so that's quite cool. Well, that's a bit quicker, isn't it? That took me, like, 15 minutes to get to the pub or whatever. Hey Josh, um, can I buy some of that nice steamed edamame or uh, edamame even? Oh, that looks cheap. Roasted nuts and things. Roasted almonds cost twelve pound. No, thank you. Fruit sandwich. Can we talk to Josh? Can we talk to you? Are you a person I can talk to? Hey! Hi! Do you live in town? I do. Is there something I can help you with? Oh no, I just moved here. Oh hey, welcome to Sunnyside. Thanks. I own the only bar here in town called Never Fret. It's on Main Street. Can't miss it. You should drop by sometime. <laughs> I'm already in here. <laughs> I will, thanks. Anytime. Okay, well I think I will end day five and then we will uh, end the episode there and I will carry on to day ten. Uh, like I say, there are definitely things that have been uh, that I think in a second playthrough we would probably get further. Because there's things that we've had to sort of learn and sort out. Oh no! I fell off my bike! Oh no! Now I'm dead. <laughs> Space bar to get up. And get the, the bike back up. It's not too bad then if you, if you do sillies like that. It's probably time for me to go to bed. It was nice that I got a couple of bits of food because I'm a bit hungry, so probably should have a snack before I go to bed as well. I'm slowly sort of going through my money, but it is really slow, so don't worry when you're like there with your 150. You get given so many things for free. So many things. Oh, you know what I didn't do? And I could do quickly before bed. Because I didn't check, although I haven't been told that it's there, so it probably isn't there yet. I check on my axe. I want to do that, because if I can get my axe, 
then I can start working on things towards my house a bit more. And then I will have somewhere to live that is not a tent. I've spent half of this demo in a tent. It's not good. Normally they at least give you a house. Oh, I've gone past it, haven't I? Whee, up the hill. You get to the medical centre, then you go gone past it. Here we are. Let's see if there's anything there. There is! There's something in here. Wow, cool. Please be my axe. <gasps> here it is! Yes! I'm so glad I went back to get it. Wonderful. I am really happy with that. So we can start chopping down some proper uh, hardwood as well now. Which is great. And if I can sell a few things to people, like maybe I could sell some wood as well as just chopping it down. Then I can start making a bit of money, which would be quite nice. I imagine the first bits of money are going to be from things like wood, fibre, that sort of stuff. I really hope they buy it, because <laughs> it could be bad otherwise. I've not really seen much in the way of like um, a system of relationships in this. I might have a quick look before we go to bed and see if there's anything along those lines. I've got till midnight. It, like at least vaguely near the bike rack. Um, I feel like these need to be chopped. And again, those bamboos can probably be sold. Just to give myself a little bit of a way through to my bike. This is kind of privacy for my tent though, so I don't want to chop too much down be a lot more private when I have an actual an actual house my tea house so let's go to sleep and then I think that is where I am going to end the episode so next episode we'll be doing the farmer's market uh, so it'll be six probably six seven eight and then I'll do another quick finishing off episode for nine and ten and we'll see how far we get but that's going to be it for today so i hope you enjoyed if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more please subscribe i'll let you know when the videos are out hope to see you next time in the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome